and welcome to this Autodesk Inventors class. My name is Oluwatumbi Blessing or Laleko, the founder of MyKetech. Today we'll be considering the problem as displayed on the screen, which is the late tail stock details. The late tail stock details. So we'll be producing each of the components as displayed on the screen and we will be assembling them using Autodesk Inventor software. Alright, the very first one I'm going to actually uh tackle here is the body. Yeah, it looks complex because it is not just a straight body, it is a tapered body. A tapered body that is its diameter at one end is different from its diameter at the other end, and all the other parts of that same body must actually align with the change in diameter at both ends. All right, yeah, this might actually look difficult, but believe you me, if you actually follow the steps I'm going to actually show you in this video, you will find it as cheap as planting chips, then as easy as ABC. All right, to so kickstart that, I'm going to click on start to the sketch. Pick uh, maybe XY plane here. So pick a circle. So with that circle, I'm drawing a circle of diameter 88. Enter. Okay, then I'm going to what? Finish sketch. So I'm going to click on XY plane. Yeah, clicking on XY plane. Then clicking on offset from plane to a distance of 228. Then I click what? Enter. All right with that in that order i click on this then i create sketch on that i pick my circle i produce a circle of diameter uh 64 64 enter then i would i finish sketch so i pick my loft command i pick this then i click add then i click uh, this then i what okay like that do you see that all right so after doing that i'm going to uh click on xy plane like this i'm going to click on offset from plane to a distance of 50 to a distance of 50 enter do you see that so i'm going to create a sketch click on f7 do you see that then i'm going to click on project cut edges do you see that so i'm going to pick my line Click on hidden line, stand at the midpoint here, draw this vertically, click on my hidden line back again, click my line, come to the bottom right here, draw this. I'm going to draw this like this. Alright, I'm going to pick my uh, symmetric constraint, picking this edge to this edge, then what? That line I produced earlier on. Picking my symmetric constraint again, picking this edge to this edge, then what this line I pick here. Then after doing that, I'm going to pick my dimension. So the distance of this line here is 76. Enter. Okay, the distance from here to here is 140. Enter. Alright. The distance of this height is 32 enter all right why the distance from uh this bottom to the midpoint the total distance there is 152 plus 12 152 plus 12 that's the total distance right there and we told that this area itself is what is 12 enter so we have that as displayed on the screen so i'm going to pick my arc okay right here to right here at a radius of 64 enter you see that so with that settled i'm going to click on my tangential constraint pick this to this you see that i think that area is settled like that so now on this other edge i'm going to click my line clicking on my line i'm going to move like this i'm going to click on shift then i'm going to left click then what i am having this like that you see that so with my dimension the radius of this is going to be radius of 152 enter then i'm going to click on my tangential constraints this edge to that line set up so i'm going to pick a straight line like this i'm going to draw it like this like this and what end it here so the distance from here to here is going to be 24 enter then we have a fillet right there fillet of radius 15 okay so 
like this and like this so and what that is that about that that is that about that okay i can actually close this area up like this extend yeah like that i think it's okay so after doing that before i proceed i'm going to escape then i'm going to highlight it clicking down on your on the left click button then highlighting from right to left i'm going to what copy ctrl c then what finish sketch all right after doing that i'm going to click on offset from plane i'm going to click on this particular plane we are the sorry offset from plane click on this particular plane we have here at a distance of 24 enter so i'm going to click on that new plane create a sketch on it click on my f7 okay click on project cut edges then what control v which is what paste after pressing control v, i'm going to zoom it out i'm going to delete this particular circle i'm going to delete it so deleting it we can see that this area is not touching our object so i'm going to use my coincidence constraint first picking this to this then likewise here picking this edge to that then picking this to this i think that's it to then with my tangential constraint i'm going to what zip things up zip things up then what zip things up which is okay like that i'm going to what finish my sketch are you taking note of what i'm doing there okay so from there I'm going to go to uh okay uh okay I'm going to click on one two I'm going to click on uh x y plane I'm going to click on offset from plane and that's going to be two two eight minus thirty eight enter you see that two two eight minus thirty eight I click on it I create a sketch i click on f7 i click on project cut edges i press ctrl v to paste okay now i'm going to delete this bigger circle right here do you see that clicking on my coincident constraint i pick this to this here i pick this to this here i pick this edge to this edge here then with my tangential constraint this tangential to this this tangential to this and this tangential to this so i have it in that order then i would i finish my sketch do you see that so take note of that so uh, i'm going to click on offset from plane again now this time around i'm going to offset from this first plane i created here to a distance of 216 216 enter do you see that to a distance of 216 then i press what enter so after pressing my enter i'm going to uh yeah so i'm going to now create a sketch on that new plane the last plane at the back create a sketch click on f7 do you see that then i'm going to uh control v i'm going to control v so by pressing my control v i think that's all i need over there yes that's all i need so i'm going to what finish sketch finishing my sketch i can hide all these work planes i created hiding their visibility okay work plane two hide visibility work plane three hide visibility work plane four hide visibility work plane five hide visibility now all you have to do is to use our extrude command i mean our loft command with my loft command i'm coming please click to add I click on this yeah the whole of that okay click to add I click on this 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 and this then what okay yeah so we have it perfectly perfectly okay perfectly now so I'm going to edit sketch four i'm going to sorry i'm going to make sketch four visible i'm going to make it visible like that so clicking on my loft command again i click on this i click on this this then i click on click to add i click on 
my sketch for right there okay so i click on this and this button part then i click on okay do you see that so now i'm going to uh edit this and make my sketch right visible so i'm going to click on loft i'm going to click on this it's going to be just this then click to add it's going to be what this and what just this then what okay like that in that order do you see that take note of that in that order yeah it is going to look like that so after doing that i can actually hide all these sketches here hide hide okay so i'm going to click on this area here create a sketch i'm going to create a hole of diameter what's it diameter 36 enter then what finish sketch so i'm going to click on extrude i'm going to click on true all then what okay now after doing that i'm going to come right here i'm going to click on plane clicking on plane i click on this face then this face here do you see that i have a plane there so i'm going to click on it i'm going to create a sketch on that plane i'm going to click on f7 i'm going to click on project cut edges so now i'm having a curve here from here to somewhere here like this and the radius of it is 102 enter so i'm going to click on my intelligential constraint clicking on this and this i have it like that do you see that then what's clicking on this and this like that so i'm going to cancel then what finish sketch finishing my sketch i can hide this plane of the thing so i'm going to click on extrude with extrude i click on this new area here at the distance of 24 24 towards the outside there do you see that and i click on what okay so i take my fillet as radius 15 don't forget that i what i fix this then what okay now this area is coming out at the back here do you see that so i'm going to click on this face create sketch click on project geometry click on that face then what okay then click on 3d mode click on extrude by clicking on the shoe, I press through all. Then I what I go the other way around. You see that? Then what? Okay. So as it is now, we have a perfect figure for the body. A perfect figure for the body. All right. So the next thing I'm going to actually do is the holes at the back here. First is this surface here. This surface at the back here. Create sketch there. So we are having a hole of four holes M6. Okay. 4 O's M6. So I'm going to pick my circle. Just draw diameter 6. Enter. Okay. From this thing is 50. And that's going to be 25. 25. Enter. And what? Okay. Okay. In that, I'm going to click on uh, extrude. So at a depth of 22 towards the inside, okay, I would I extrude that like that. You see that? So now I'm going to click on circular pattern. I'm going to click on uh, this hole. You see that? I'm going to click on rotation axis. I'm going to click on this. Then I'm going to type 4 in there. Then what? Okay. Then I'm going to pick my thread. I'm going to thread this thread this thread this then thread this which is not okay you can see so that is set with like that okay so towards somewhere here okay so somewhere in this area yeah somewhere here. okay let me just do this right here okay doing this right here so i'm going to draw a circle yeah 
getting the midpoint of this object from here. Let me just draw that circle here first. A circle of diameter 50, first of all. Then from that same center, a circle of uh, diameter 50, the whole inside is going to be. Um, I'm coming up. Diameter 25. Enter. So we're told that the distance from here to here, sorry, the distance from the edge here to the center of this hole is 114, 114, enter. Okay, clicking my F7 and the distance from here to here should be 70. The distance from here to here should be 70, which is accurate. Yeah, okay, so with that, I finish my sketch here. Yeah. Finishing my sketch, I click extrude. Okay, picking the hole on the inside, I click true all. Only it's way down. So then I click on plus. And I click on this. So the distance there. Okay, 32 plus 6. That's 32. It's going to be height of 6. Height of 6 right here. And what? okay yeah okay so fillet of radius 5 is what was used here radius 5 which is that right there okay so uh okay after that what else okay there's this hole at the back here okay this hole at the back here somewhere here. and we need to actually get that hole I need to get that all okay and how do we get it i'm just going to click on let me check my plane is it giving me okay so i'm going to click on plane i'm going to click on this oh, sorry escape control z i'm going to click on plane i'm going to click on this and this so i have my plane over there so I click on sketch. So clicking on sketch right now. Okay. So I'm drawing uh, a I'm drawing two circles actually. I'm going to draw two circles actually, okay. Yeah, all all B diameter twelve counter board diameter twenty. So two O's diameter twelve and diameter twenty diameter twelve enter. Then from that same center diameter 20 enter now the dimension from the edge here to the center of this hole here is distance of 62 all right take note of that and the distance of that hole from the bottom is it bottom I'm having something 64 here. Okay, 18 from the middle here. Year to year. Distance of 18. Enter. So with that, I finish my sketch. Finishing my sketch. I told that. okay so with this right here as it is now so the first hole or uh, extrude this fox twin is all true all true okay like that yeah all true like that Okay, and the second one. Uh, let me first do to this body. 
is it giving distance of 20 I mean countable okay we are not even giving the distance of the countable countable part okay so let me just make it maybe distance of uh, I can just make it maybe distance of 30 and see let me look at what it looks like I'm going to assume that so that's too much I think 20 will be okay or let's do a 25 yeah, I think that is better I think it is 25 better I think 25 is better then cut then okay so yeah I think that is better like that I'm going to click on this and what height the visibility do you see that so yeah radius 24 fillet of radius 24 fillet of radius 24 i have this right here okay radius 12 now fillet of radius 12 okay the area is not falling for it okay so fillet of i think radius 12 is doing this please all true yeah 12 is doing that please all true yeah radius 12 is fixing that please all true plus is he going to fix this now or not okay it won't work so we leave it that way we won't stress ourselves too much on that okay and i think that is the conclusion of the part known as the body yeah that is the conclusion of the part known as the body known as the body right so you can just you know beautify it do it something cool maybe something like iron cast cast iron is going to be better for that mm -hmm. i think that's better yeah but when we want to assemble it you're going to make it transparent exactly so visual style make it real so i think it's kind of cool like this check yeah it's kind of looking cool okay looking fresh like fresh here. once again i'm going to stop the video here then release the other parts in subsequent videos all right my name remains uluwatumbi blessing or la Lekon the founder of my Ketek. kindly be on the lookout for the uh videos that contain the other components of this uh the test talk of a lit machine and its assembly drawing all right so kindly ensure you subscribe to this channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it thank you